Hello everyone, this is Charles with Total Focus Lawn Services. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, but just about a couple of weeks I picked up this uh, Ultima uh, ZT2 uh, from a nearby dealer. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, uh, share it with you. Uh, it's a pretty good mower. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I initially was looking for a commercial mower, uh, a 60 inch, and uh, I tried John Deere. Uh, well, the, big, the biggest reason why I bought this one right here is what early spring, I actually walked into a Home Depot and they had one on display. And it was like, a, I think it was like a 50 inch. It was called the Ultima ZT1. Uh, but you know, like I said, my main goal was to get me a, um, get me a 60 inch. And so again, like I said, I went to the dealer, uh, the John Deere dealer to find a, actually find a 60 inch and I ended up didn't getting one, so I actually went went back home and started researching online and come to find out uh, in this Ultima series, uh, they had a 60 inch uh, in the Cub Cadet, Ultima ZT2. Uh, so again, like I said, uh, I know these, these mores been out for a little while, maybe three or four months or something like that, and you got a lot of reviews and overviews and stuff like that on YouTube. But uh, when I was doing my research, uh, I didn't see a, actually video on the Ultima ZT2 60 inch that would help me, uh, help sway me into actually getting one. So yeah, I actually did the, uh, uh, some extended research by you know looking on Home Depot website and looking on YouTube and uh, come to find out they had exactly what I wanted. Um, again, like I said, uh, I'm not going to go all into all details. And on top of that, I don't know everything about it. I'm just going to uh, give you an overview of some of the things that I like and, 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 and some of the things that, uh, that, uh, that stand out a little bit uh, from other, other mores that you can actually get on the market to, to help others kind of like, you know, decide if this is for them. Um, uh, so again, like I said, one of the biggest things I like about it, you know, they got that uh, 60 inch deck on it. And it's also, they have it called um, Arrow Force Deck. I'm not 100% sure what that what that is. I have some kind of idea, but I'm not going to elaborate on that a whole lot because I don't want to talk about nothing that I really don't know a whole lot about. But um, my initial, um, uh, uh, view this more when I looked at it. I thought these was those uh, you know Tires that pneumatic I guess pneumatic means that they don't go flat or something like that right there But I'm um, on further looking at it and everything. I see that it's got a valve stem uh, On the side of it. so I guess that means that it, that you know, it does it, it does get flat and you'll have to put some air in it um if needed, but uh, and also another thing I was looking at it didn't sway me one way or the other, but I noticed that they have uh, put headlights on it. Uh, you know, I haven't actually really tested them to see how well they uh, perform at night. I haven't done any night cutting yet, and um, so I don't really know a whole lot about those. Like I said, I, I know that they got headlights on and they're there if you need them. Uh, and then they got this plate up here. Uh, that you can access your belts with. I haven't actually looked into it yet because like I said, I only had like a couple of weeks and I've uh, been real busy and I haven't had the time to uh, do a whole lot of exploring, but I noticed that they give you a little wrench right here uh, to actually um, remove that screw if need be. And I was told just by looking at other videos that this wrench actually fits quite a few other uh, uh, screws uh, bolts or whatever uh, on this more uh, just in case you need it so that a, the wrench is pretty tight right there and whatever um, and then also it has uh, the controls on the side they kind of like uh, raise it up a little bit so I guess that's to keep um, keep keep you from hitting on hitting on limb tree limbs or bushes and that, or whatever you got your PTO knob and you got your um your key and you got your uh throttle and you also have your choke um it's 
Uh, one, one of the good things I like about it versus this uh, Cub Cadet more that I just picked up last year, on this more right here, you don't have to uh, push any buttons or anything like that to uh, actually uh, be able to cut in reverse. Uh, you just pull your handle back and go back and it automatically uh, keeps the PTO engaged and you just continue to cut. And I think that's a pretty good thing because a lot of times with this more right here, I get to cutting and cutting and then all of a sudden I'm wondering what happened and shut off and I didn't actually activate the uh, reverse feature for the PTO and actually shut off. Again, like I said, with this one, you don't have to worry about that. And um, so in the back right here, it's got the uh, 20 inch turf master tires on there. Um, you know, I, I think those are those are pretty neat. Pretty look like some pretty tough, sturdy, heavy duty tires. Uh, you look at those big beefy bad boys versus those right there. Uh, it's a big difference. Um, and also, it has uh, had the twin transmissions on it. Uh, it's got a transmission on the rear uh, rear right wheel and it has a transmission on the rear uh, left wheel. Um, and another good thing, right here it has uh, had this um, uh, hose hanging down with this uh, nut on it to where you can actually uh, change your change your oil pretty easy. You know, just take one wrench to hold it and another wrench to turn it and uh, you know, drain your oil. Unlike on that Cub Cadet right there where they had that uh, yellow plug on the side you had to uh, turn the plug, then put an extension uh, hose on it, and then pull the plug out for it actually to drain the oil. So this looked like this would be a lot quicker, a lot easier, and less messier. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty good feature to have. Uh, also, it has a Kawasaki engine on it. Uh, it's the FR730V. Uh, um, and also has your, has your filter in here. Um, and this this uh, Kawasaki 730 FR730V, it actually does about, I think it does like 7.5 miles an hour, uh, which is not really a big deal for me because, you know, I, I didn't get it for the Indy 500. I just got to cut grass. And, you know, like I said, it, 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 it does pretty good. It runs runs okay you know what i mean real quiet engine man that's what i like about it once you engage the blades uh you forget about the engine because you can't hardly hear it um and also it has this uh comfortable nice comfortable seat on here i think these uh seat uh covers are interchangeable so i mean if you ever if it ever rocks or you ever sit down on it with a screwdriver in your pocket or something tear a hole in it and you want to change it out you probably something you can actually uh order from cub cadet and uh, replace them right quick um again like i said it's a pretty comfortable seat you notice that it's got the arm rest on it i don't ever use those especially when i'm cutting because i it's kind of like difficult to keep your arms on the arm rest while you while you um operating your uh operating your lap bar so you know i just you know i guess they're good for when you decide to uh, sit back for a minute and take a break um, on the gas tank uh, now the seat right here a lot of people are not a big fan of this seat but it's okay with me I mean it's not a, not a big deal most people like for it when you open it up they want it to sit up uh, like that right there that's something you can actually modify and fix yourself but again like I said it's not a big deal to me so um, when I want to access it when I uh, just lay it over and be done with it but the gas tank is right up under the seat it's a 3.5 gallon tank uh, and uh it, it uh it's uh kind of like hard to determine uh how much gas you have left in it uh unless you look on the side uh and you know but i, I wish they uh I designed it to where it had a uh, actually a fuel gauge in the cap or you know some kind of indicator to tell you but again like I said it's not a big deal to me because every time I stop and get ready to go out on a job and I fill up my vehicle I always top off all my lung, all my moors uh, so where I'm actually ready to go but you know like I said a fuel gauge uh, would be nice maybe they'll take that in consideration when they design uh, the next moor uh, and 
Also, uh, I want to show you this deck right quick. Uh, again, I was saying, there's a lot of videos out there and you're already familiar with it of, of uh, actually how it works and everything. But uh, unlike that one, uh, that Cub Cadet, that's the uh, RZTL that I picked up last year. This one right here, and it's got the, uh, got the, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me get over here. But it's got the lever on the side where you actually adjust the, uh, just the deck height. But you don't have to do that with this more right here. Uh, it has a foot pedal right here. So you just match that foot pedal uh, and raise the deck up to as high as uh, height. And then over here, you actually uh, dial it in uh, to what height you want. Again, like I said, the maximum height is uh, 4.5. I don't normally use 4.5 only when I'm actually uh, transporting the more, getting it on and off of the trailer or whatever. But one thing I wanted to uh, show you about this deck, this deck is, uh, you know, it's got the uh, uh, the pre-wash thing on there. If you actually want to clean it out, just put your hose on there uh, and turn your, turn your blades on. And it's supposed to, you know, clean your deck out on the bottom. But one of the biggest things I like, and I guess that goes back to what they mean by arrow, arrow force deck. I'm, again, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what they mean by arrow force deck, but I'm gonna give you my uh, perspective of it. Uh, if you look at this deck right here, on this uh, Cub Cadet right here, it's actually at its maximum height. And it looks like it's just about maybe one one inch off the ground with this deck right here uh it's at its maximum height and it looks like it's about two maybe two and a half inches off the ground and yeah i noticed that when i first started using it you know uh especially the beginning of the year when the grass started growing and you have you know quite a few customers that have big lawns and it rains a whole lot and you can't get in there to them and by the time you actually get in there and get to it, it's done got it's done got tall. And you look at it, you be like, "Wow, this is going to take all day. This is going to be a this is, this is going to be a mess because you know you're going to have to cut it, and then you have to clean up all the clippings or, or run around uh, uh, with your blade up a little higher to blow the clipping and spread them out. This deck right here actually does it for you. But a simple fact, what it does. It's got something to do, I guess, with the way they got this side chute uh, designed or angled or something like that. To actually, when you start cutting grass, it blows it way out there. Uh, it blows it like three, two to three times farther than this mower actually does, which which alleviates the uh, the uh, possibility of you having to having to uh, uh, when you finish cutting, raking up the leaves or you know, running back over it, back and forth to spread the leaves out. This actually, I mean, not leaves, well, leaves and grass too. Uh, this actually does it for you. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's actually really a time saver. You know, again, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty good more. Uh, and like I said, I noticed quite a bit of, uh, since they just came out and everybody likes them because they, uh, they look uh, kind of a little, a little bit attractive and everything. You know, I know when I first got it from the dealer, uh, I had it on my trailer and I stopped to got, get some gas in my truck. You know, uh, people were actually surrounding my trailer to my, what is this? That look nice and different stuff like that. True enough, it is a pretty attractive uh, new tractor and it performs just as well. Um, and, you know, like I said, I know there's quite a few of them out there, but again, like I said, I was looking, I was doing research on the, on the Ultima uh, ZT2 uh, 60 inch and I didn't see any on YouTube, so I decided to make uh, this video myself to give you some kind of perspective of what it has different from um, the ZT-1 uh, and, and other Cub Cadet uh, mowers in the, uh, in the Ultima series. But again, like I said, it's a pretty hefty mower. So far this year, I've cut like 15 acres with it. And uh, man, I'm telling you, I'm really pleased with it. I mean, it really does the job. You know, it's got a really good smooth cut on it. Uh, right now, it's got the uh, it's got the original blades on it. Uh, normally, what I do, like you know, when I bought this uh, 
CC800 is walk behind and this RZT uh, zero turn. You know, I cut for a little while, I guess to get my money worth out the blade, the original blades that was on it. Uh, and then I actually switched over to the Gator blades, the motion blades, put those on there. So uh, this one right here, again, like I said, it's got a real nice smooth cut to it. Uh, and it's it got that, got this deck feature that actually blows grass a little bit further. I'm really curious and anxious to know how would it, uh, how would the, uh, and improve, how to improve the cutting if I put the gator blades on it, uh, the motion blades on it. And I know it's a, a new more, uh, and I don't, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they have. I just haven't done the research to find out if they had the aftermarket uh, gator blades uh, for this tractor here. But once they do, I doubt I'll actually do it this year. I'll probably wait till next year again, like I said, get my money's worth out of these blades before I uh, put some uh, motion blades on it. And I'm just curious to know how much better will it do? I mean, you know, how much, you know, again, like I said, more like this right here, it actually cuts my uh, mowing time in half, man. I'm telling you, you know, some of those lawns, I'd like, it'd be getting real dark and I'm like, man, I don't have time to do them, do them yet, do them. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. But I thought about it, like, wait a minute, I got this Ultima ZT2 and this bad boy throw down. So I just go in there and, knock them out right quick and get on by my business. But, you know, again, like I said, that's my review. That just, uh, I'm just telling you what I know about it. Again, I don't like, I don't know a whole lot about uh, the specs and everything like that. I see that it's got these dual, um, these dual uh, reservoirs for the, uh, I guess for the transmission fluid and all that. So I guess this goes for that transmission. That goes for the other transmission. But again, like I said, this is just, this is my overview of it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to put this video out there. Uh, and if anybody is looking into actually getting a ZT2, uh, the more knowledge I get, get about it as I use it uh, on a daily basis, I'll be glad to uh, share it with you. So, you know, subscribe to my channel and, you know, uh, send me a, Send me a message down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you got any questions, I'd be glad to answer. But again, like I said, I think it's a pretty good mower. Uh, it has a three-year uh, warranty uh, with unlimited hours on it. So, you know, <laughs> the guy asked me what I was going to use it for. I just told him residential, but actually I use it for a commercial. So I'm hoping that uh, if something happened to it that I can't, you know, fix myself that unlimited warranty uh that unlimited hour warranty on it will actually come into play because i definitely be putting this bad boy to work i cut like uh six or seven yards per day with it and so again like i said but you know again like i said i'm pretty sure i won't have any problem with it because it's a brand new more it's probably gonna pay for itself uh four to five times over uh, you know, right now I'm just still cutting, cutting it with, uh, with that break in oil in it. Uh, when that, when it's time to actually change oil, I'm going to actually go with that, uh, uh, I guess mobile one full synthetic that'll help, should help extend the life, uh, extend the life on the engine. Anything else, I mean, you know, uh, less than the transmission, anything else, yeah, I'm not too overly concerned, worried about it. So again, like I said, that's my review. You got any questions? comment or uh, suggestions, you know, just hit me up below. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.